I gains Apple tops its bid arrival. It has been taking a drubbing from investors and analysts, but here's a bright spot. It surpassed Samsung to become the largest phone maker for the first time ever in the U.S., according to research firm Strategy Analytics. Propelled by sales of the iPhone 5, Apple shipped more than 17 million phones in the fourth quarter, boosting its market share to 34 percent. Samsung delivered 16.8 million phones, placing second with 32.3 percent share. LG remained third at 9 percent. But for the full year of 2012, Samsung led with 31.8 percent share to Apple's 26.2 percent. LG had less than half of Apple's share. Strategy analytics analyst Neil Shaw says Samsung will remain a tough competitor with the expected launches of new smartphone models, the Galaxy S4 and Galaxy Note 3. Shares of Apple roughly flat near 456 bucks. An Apple supplier has mounted a comeback. Investors are applauding audiences' bullish first quarter forecast, sending a stock up more than 20 percent. Now, you may recall that its stock slid 58 percent in a single day last September when it warned that Apple would likely drop its technology in future iPhones. The audio technology company wowed Wall Street with revenue estimates of between 43 and 46 million dollars in the current quarter. The business benefiting from its association with Samsung, which now provides more than half its revenue. But audience's stock is still roughly 20 percent lower than the day before it disclosed losing Apple's business. Google is making nice with the Europeans. The European Commission says the search giant has offered to take specific steps to address the Commission's concerns about its business practices. It wouldn't disclose the details. Companies found to be in breach of EU rules can be fined as much as 10 percent of global turnover, which could mean up to $4 billion if there is no resolution in Google's case. Separately, Google Chairman Eric Schmidt signed a deal with French President Francois Hollande on payment for links. Publishers in France and Germany argue Google should pay them copyright licensing fees for listing headlines and snippets of articles in its search engine results. The agreement calls for Google to contribute about $100 million to a fund for French media. Google shares up 2% today. They briefly touched an all-time high at 774.92. In our best of the rest today, Dell. Sources telling Reuters the com company is nearing an agreement to sell itself to a group of investors, including founder Michael Dell and private equity firm Silver Lake Partners. The price likely to be between $13 and $14 a share. Dell would take majority ownership, with Silver Lake and Microsoft becoming minority owners. That deal could be announced Monday. Dell shares up about 4% in the range of the expected buyout price. Soaring and sputtering time, our look at movers. Soaring is PMC Sierra. The chipmaker reported quarterly results that beat estimates, and at least two brokerages raised their price targets. Shares up 12%. And sputtering, Bright Cove. The online video publisher forecast lower than expected results. The company also said the CFO will become the CEO, replacing Bright Cove's co-founder. Shares are down more than 20%. And that's Techwity this Friday. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter at RTRS Techwity. I'm Fred Katayama, and this is Warriors.